What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on Undisputed, they're going to be talking about Tom Brady and wh uh, what kind of season is he going to have next year. So let's see what they have to say. To 10, how confident are you that he will be done? Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Eight and a half. Oh, you're starting to have a little doubt. No, I'm not having a little doubt. I'm not having a huh? little doubt. About a I, I, point I, I, and a half of doubt. No, 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 no point <laughs> and a half. Skip, I, I, I believe, we, well, we know for certain. Had Jimmy Garoppolo not been traded, Tom Brady would not be the quarterback of the New England Patriots. He'd be somebody's quarterback. Yeah. He now, Shannon, why would you think that Jimmy G would be the quarterback over Tom Brady if uh, Jimmy G hadn't got traded? So at that point, Tom Brady had been through to two Super Bowls in a row and won one. So what made you think that Jimmy G was going to come up out of nowhere and start over Tom Brady? There's a reason why Jimmy got traded. There's a reason why Tom Brady was still playing and still starting. So I don't understand why you would think Jimmy G would somehow be taking over Tom Brady's spot of coming off of two Super Bowls and one Super Bowl win within the past two years. So let's keep going. Be somebody, but he wouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, but now I just believe, and like you say, Father, time is knocking on the door. And, and yeah, he won his sixth his Super Bowl. Um, but there are stretches that Tom Brady didn't look mm -hmm. like Tom Brady. Tom Brady had great, I mean, his, his divisional round against San Diego, his, I mean, he played the final drive. He was unbelievable. He made some mistakes in the Kansas City game mm. um, that we don't normally see. And his Super Bowl was one of his all-time worst, maybe the worst Super Bowl that he played. Shannon, you got to listen to yourself talk, man. So are you trying to say that Tom Brady did look like a 100% perfect quarterback in every single game last year? Is that what you're saying? Because all quarterbacks don't look superb throughout the whole season. You have some good games, you have some bad games. But as long as you win the majority and you go to the Super Bowl and you win, that's all that counts. So, of course, Tom Brady's going to have some games where he doesn't look like a superstar. That's just part of the game. He's not going to look perfect all the time. But what he did do is make the playoffs and win the Super Bowl again. So who cares if he didn't have the best Super Bowl? Who cares if he didn't uh, uh, make all his completions during the Super Bowl? It doesn't matter. The fact is, he won the game. He won the Super Bowl again. So let's keep it going. Since the very first one in which he won. Mm. Um, but, Skip, there are stretches during the season that Tom Brady didn't play well. And I think it's going to be accumulation. I think the wear and tear, I think this year he's going to take some shots that would say, you know what, this is it. This is enough. Six Super Bowls, 20 years. Um, not to say that they're not going to be good. I believe they'll be good again. So what do you mean six Super Bowls is enough, Shannon? 20 years is enough. It's never enough to have enough Super Bowls. For one. For two... There's, there's no way he, Tom Brady is in uncharted waters right now Tom Brady is in uncharted waters right now he's a 40 plus year old quarterback that's coming off uh, three Super Bowls in a row won two Super Bowls in a row he's won six all together he's been to nine and he's still balling he's still pushing there's no reason for you to think that Tom Brady won't be able to go to the Super Bowl again he hasn't had any major injuries he hasn't had any all season surgeries his arm hasn't weakened. He still has a strong arm. Mentally, he's only going to get smarter and more wiser. So the only, the only change I see from the last year to this year or this come up season will be that he lost Rob Gronkowski. And Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are smart enough to make adjustments for that loss. Like they've done every single year that they've had key receivers and lost key receivers. They know how to make those type of adjustments. Rob Gronkowski's gone, so they'll pick up somebody else. They, they might even pick up Des Bryant. This Brian might blow back, blow back up and go to the Super Bowl and win it. So you don't know what could happen. There's no reason for you to, to hate on Tom Brady at this point. When there's no indicator, there's nothing, there's no basis for you hating on him. Because nothing's changed. So let's keep going. As long as this, this duo is there, Coach Belichick and Tom Brady, and they play in that crappy division, which is the AFC East. Mm. Oh, they always, that's, that's guaranteed, what? Mm. Five wins right there, right, Skip? Oh, Shannon, you, so you really want to talk about the divisions, right? Oh, so the AFC East is weak. Is that Tom Brady's fault that all the other quarterbacks in his divisions are trash? That's not his fault. That's not his fault at all. And if you really want to talk about it, I don't want to jump sports, but what about your boy that plays basketball that was balling in the East? You want to talk about how trash the East was then when your boy was wrecking shop then in the East and basketball in the Eastern Conference? So don't try to talk trash about Tom Brady playing in the uh, AFC East and how that's a trash conference and how he wins. Because I tell you what, when Tom Brady plays in the a AFC Eastern Conference and he beats them up, he gets to the he gets to the uh, the Super Bowl and he beats anybody else. He takes care of business. He's not three and six in the Super Bowl. 
Okay, he's not three and six. It's pretty much the other way around. All right, so he may play in the week uh, AFC Eastern Conference, but he takes care of business all the way through, all the way to the top, and he takes care of business. So let's keep let's keep it pushing. Jess and Buffalo loaded up in the offseason. There you go. <laughs> you can't you keep a straight face when you say this. Girl. Look, I mean, remember Buffalo got cold yeah. Beasley? Oh, yeah. I, I think they did. We get jaded that the Patriots won the Super Bowl again. Mm -hmm. And Tom Brady was historically great throughout the entirety of the season. And that was not the case. And so, Skip, I believe this year will be Tom Brady. As a matter of fact, as I'm speaking, I'm going up as we speak. I'm at the nine right now. Oh, you oh, really? yeah. oh, I'm I at talked a, you up I'm, to I'm, nine. I'm at a nine right <laughs> now. Let's go to ten. No, nine. Come on, nine. Because I, I believe he will take a few hits that will leave Tom Brady and he will spend more time on the injury report. Not saying that he will miss any time, mm -hmm. but... Is going to end, uh, and, and I think we'll see Tom Brady have probably. I believe he'll have the worst year mm -hmm. of his career really? in, the la in the last five to six years. Yes. Okay, so you're on record. Next year will be Tom Brady's all-time worst year. Correct. Since he's been Tom Brady that we know and love. Now, I, I discount okay. those ones where you know he was more of a game manager. Okay. I'm talking about since he's become the Tom Brady <sighs> that we know. So, I would like to point out to our audience that my man, Shannon Sharp, the Hall of Famer, sitting across from me in our first year here on Undisputed at Fox Sports 1, predicted that one more year would be the end of Tom Brady. But he had to amend that to one more year, which is going to now be next year. So, you've, you've already changed once. But why was I anticipating one year? Why was I anticipating? I don't remember. You know, old Jimmy G. Oh, and he went crying to Mr. Kraft, his dad, the one he calls his dad, mm -hmm. and Tommy is like a son to me. Mm -hmm. He went and cried on his desk and made Coach Belichick trade Jimmy G. Mm -hmm. So tell the entirety of the story. And then what happened? <laughs> two more Super Bowls they happened. Did. Yes. Yes. Exactly, Skip. He went to two more Super Bowls. So I don't understand why you keep talking about Jimmy G, Shannon. It doesn't matter. He's gone for one. For two, he would never start it over Tom Brady. It's not like Tom Brady was uh, slumping in production. He had gone to two Super Bowls in a row and won one while Jimmy G was there. And he got booted. So I understand where your basis would be that, you know, oh, Tom Brady was scared. He heard uh, Jimmy G's footsteps coming to try to take his position. I don't think so. Not even a little bit. So let's keep it pushing. And a loss. And 505 record then yards. Then a loss. Yep. Coach, okay. Belich calls, Coach Belichick, seven. <sighs> this topic wearies me. Really? In a fun way because... I'm going to say this one more time, and it just grates on your nerves to hear this, but what? there is one man in sports you do not bet against. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. That man you do All not. All getting old. You, uh, hey, hey, <laughs> when you have a name like that, you, you're going to play until you. Who no, you're not. You, you play forever great with name. that great name. Right? Well, Father Time don't know which one to catch yeah, up with first. Okay, maybe but that's he go, it. He's going to catch up with Thomas. <laughs> I don't know if it's pliability. I don't know if it's the TB12 method. I don't know if it's avocado ice cream. I just know this. Tom Brady's having more fun than he's ever had playing football. He is shattering the mold, and he is having the most fun he's ever had shattering the mold and posting corny pictures on IG and now Twitter. He'll, he'll rule Twitter pretty soon. Oh, yeah. And... The point is, he doesn't need any help. We're, we never talk about, oh, Tom needs more help. We just talked about another guy who needs a lot of help. But Tom going on, for, he's going to play at 42 next year. He'll probably have even less help on the offensive side of the ball than he had a year ago because it sounds like there'll be no He got call. the most help. He got the greatest coach in, in history uh, okay. of sports. Who coach oh, so now he's got the greatest uh, coach in sports, right? So now that that's his thing? But I thought he was supposed to be falling off and he was getting older and this and that. Come on, Shannon. You got to stay consistent, man. You've got to stay consistent. Let's keep it pushing. His defense sometimes. sometimes Don't do that. Coaches it. He didn't coach it against Nick Foles, but that's a whole nother issue. So I'm going to knock on wood one more time. The only way you're going to be right about this is if injury strikes. And I'm knocking hard. I'm going to bang my fist on this wood because knocking on wood. That, that's the only way you're going to be correct about this is if he threatens Heaven forbid a career threatening injury. And obviously at 42, you probably wouldn't want to go through a lengthy rehab and try again. I, I doubt it. Okay. So, so uh, I, 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 that is an issue that Tom Brady might get hurt because he is obviously getting older. But Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are accounting for that. 
That's why he's working out. He's eating right. He's taking care of his body. He's going to have those hogs up front taking care of him. So all that's going to be taken into account and he's not taking any unnecessary risk. So I do understand that he's getting older and all that, but they're, they're accounting for that. That's going to be accounted for. So let's keep moving. Oh, he is saying I'm going to play at 42, 43, and 44 because he says I'll play until I'm 45. I am betting on Tom Brady to play three more seasons. And I take great exception to you characterizing what a poor year he had, at least in stretch, as you said, last year. It is. Because I'm going to remind everybody, on a Sunday night in Foxborough, he outgunned Patrick, as you call him, my homeboy, Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady threw for 182 yards in the fourth quarter and put up 16 points that won the shootout. And then he outplayed Aaron Rodgers on the biggest stage on Sunday night. And then he went to Chicago very quietly and put up 38 points on that vaunted Bears defense in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Is that good? I think that's pretty good. Very good. Put up his best regular season numbers at Miami when he threw for three fifty-eight and three touchdowns. Uh, three touchdowns. What about that? What about that okay. sack at the end of the game? Okay, but but again, what about the he, he put them in position to win the game until Belichick's defense oh, gave up the Miami miracle that cost them home field advantage in the AFC okay. Championship game and put Tom Brady in Kansas City. If you don't mind me asking, can you tell the people at home what he did against the Detroit Lions on that fateful day? Well, I just told you, he put them right back in position. If they close the deal at Miami, if Belichick's defense no, no. doesn't fall no, no, down no, no. on its face. Detroit. Yeah. Detroit. Okay, all right. okay, what about Tennessee? Okay. Can you tell the people the Tennessee Titans? Yeah. Uh, they did play the Titans, right? Yeah, they did, but okay, they were in happened? position to have home uh, field throughout the playoffs until the Miami miracle happened. I, I get all of that. Okay? I, get... I don't care about all that. E- everybody's going to lose some games. Okay. They're going to win every okay, game. Okay, then. Some yeah. people going to win some games. You make it seem like this, like they lost you, you all their games. Jackson the... or Bo- uh, Blake Bortles threw for 373. And what did Tom Brady throw for? Well, all I know is they got torched. No, no, no. What defense. did Tom do? You know, Tom yeah. does get an opportunity to torch the other so, team's defense. Sometimes it's hard to overcome a bad defense. Uh, but for no, much of the year, no, it's a bad no, no, defense. no, 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 you told me. Yep. You told me Tom Brady always overcomes Coach Belichick, okay. with the exception. Well, guess what happened when the money was on the table and the playoffs started? The Chargers went up to Foxborough, and do you remember what Tom did in that game? How yeah. about three forty-three and a touchdown? Did that work? That, yeah. that was. What did Coach Belichick's defense? Thirty-four do? or forty-four that day. What did wow. Coach Belichick's defense do? Boy, the tone was set because he finally ha- had the, the the clarity to say, I won the toss, maybe I should give the ball to 12 for once instead of saying, we're going to play defense. What, what happened? What, Touchdown happened. What about, no. okay, and then and then Phillip Rivers scored again, mm-hmm. and then yep. Tom Brady scored, scored and then Phillip Rivers and and Rivers didn't score anymore until the game was well out of hand, mm. okay? Yep. No, but I, tone okay. was set by what 12. What about the last, the last game we remember seeing Tom Brady play? Wait, well, well, hold on, we, we just skipped over the... Cr- Wait a minute, Shannon. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Are you you you, you want to bring up the last game that Tom Brady played in? You really want to bring up the last game that Tom Brady played in? You mean the Super Bowl? You mean the biggest game uh, it, 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 throughout throughout the season? You talking about the Super Bowl that he won? Is that the last game that you want to talk about, Shannon? Are you really trying to clown Tom Brady and say he didn't have a good Super Bowl that he won? I mean, you you have to be getting paid off, or you have to be told by the producers of Undisputed to play the devil's advocate for what Skip is saying. Because it doesn't make any sense of what you're saying. You have no basis of what you're saying. It just doesn't make sense. So let's keep going. Crucial one at Kansas City, a game that you said they had no chance to win. I didn't say they didn't have any chance. I said Kansas City would win. Tom Brady, I don't know how he did this, but he threw for 120 yards in the fourth quarter against that that man. The reason why he did it, Skip, is because he might be the GOAT. He might be the greatest of all time. Now, I don't want to say that he is because I'm cool with Joe Montana. I like Joe Montana. But let's I would just say that Tom Brady is as good as uh, Joe Montana and vice versa. That's why he was able to do what he did against Mahomes. Also, because Tom Brady is a a, a veteran, experienced, Super Bowl winning quarterback that's not going to get beat by some young puppy in Kansas City. And this is his first run. That's why he was able to do what he was able to do, Skip. So let's keep it pushing. Patrick Mahomes, and then he threw for 60 more in overtime. Not only 60 more, but he completed three straight third and 10 passes. Yes. How do you do that? You go 20 to Edelman, 15 to Edelman, 15 to Gronk. 
all third and tens. That's impossibly great, right? But that's Tom Brady playing at his greatest. And in the Super Bowl, that Rams defense did a number on him, and Belichick's defense was very good against a really shaky. No, I didn't see you see what you did, Kim. Well, come on. Why, why? I mean, why would you do that? Okay, but but what happened? See, the football game is actually it's four quarters. Yes. Now, mm. And so if you give Tom Brady the the requisite amount of time, if you give him regulation, to, he can play all the way through four quarters. Mid fourth, he finally said, "Okay, I got this," and he completes four straight passes on the drive that broke a three all tie, and he threw the pass of the game to Gronkowski 29 yards down to the two yard line that was ball game right there and that should have been an MVP throw but it was not this is what Tom Brady had to play with Mm -hmm. three all he had to do was score four points and he wins the Super Bowl Mm. he got 13 Mm. so let's not pretend that coach Belichick's defense didn't do a masterful job masterful job in that game Mm. skip see the thing is with you is that when Tom Brady loses it's coach Belichick's defense fault when he wins has been well what happened in the previous Super Bowl Nick Foles put up 41 on Belichick's defense as some guy named Malcolm Butler didn't play? How did that happen? Okay, what, what about when he held the, uh, the, the, uh, the Falcons? The last eight minutes of the third, all fourth in overtime, held them to zero points. What about the entire...